Senator Ume Victor Chuku Nonyelu, 151 votes. 151 votes. Okobwe Uzue Muna Izuchuku, 10 votes. I don't know who is not going to happen. One for Ferdinand Dozier, 162 votes. Going by the results we have here after the voting, and the person that has scored the highest number of votes, we have one for Ferdinand Dozier with the total number of votes, 162, declared as the winner of the primary 2022 senatorial primary election that held here in Dora Akunyelo Women Development Center. Wanambra Central. Honorable Jose Wanko as the candidate on the platform of APGA. Wanambra Central. Senatorial Zone. Congratulations. I'm happy, very happy tonight, and I give God the glory. I give Him all the glory. Without Him, we, I cannot reach to this extent. I cannot get to this level without God Almighty. I dedicate this success, this victory, to Almighty God, and I thank our Governor, Professor Charles Chukuba Soludo, for all his support and for making sure that the election, of our primary election, is transparent, free, and credible. I want to also thank our national chairman, Osombo Victor Oye, Osombo Victor Oye, for also making sure that he conducted free and fair and credible election that showed my victory today. I want to also thank our party faithfuls from the national level, state level, and to also the, all the state um, local government, several local government chairmen, and ward chairmen, the several local government, and all the delegates in our central central district i want to thank all of them for because we work so hard day and night campaign day and night before we get to where we are and i'm here to tell our people that i'm going to work for them i'm here to serve i've served even in the parliament i've worked i i believe in resort i'm a resort oriented parliamentarian i great i bring resort down to the grassroots and i'm going to continue it even in the senate and i'm going to be their master i'm going to speak and i'm going to um, uh, Leas with every stakeholder, Leas with the government, Anambra State government, to make sure that we tackle the insecurity. You know that security is a challenge in Southeast, particularly in Anambra State. Our governor has really tried this short period he has stayed. We're going to help him. We're going to put our strength together to work and to enable us to bring infrastructure development to our people, Anambra Central Central District.